Fuck. Alrighty. So, if you've ever had the oh pleasure my. of owning... <sighs> I love you, bro. Any friends? If you've ever had the pleasure... Of owning any of the older generation systems, such as an SNES, an NES, N64, Sega Genesis, Sega, 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 whatever. I don't, I've never had a Sega, so I don't know the difference between the different consoles. But anyway, if you've ever had one of those, and you've probably had one give out on you, and everybody knows they're hard to come by. So, what you've probably done is you've tampered around with emulators. And they're not really that difficult of programs to work with. But sometimes they can be. Um, I'm going to show you this nice little emulator uh, that supports multiple systems. It's called Open Emu. It supports all of these. Now, where to get the emulator and the ROMs? Where you're going to get a, your little browser or whatever. And then I use Cool ROM along with most of the people that emulates their older systems. So, if you've never done this before, then this is where you leave the pack. You go to emulators and you find your favorite system. Say you had, I don't know, say you had an Atari. Well, here you go. They have Atari. But I had a Super Nintendo, so I'm going to go to Super Nintendo. I'm going to click on that. And if you're a Mac user like myself, then you're going to experience some problems. Because some of these don't run on OS X. So the better thing to do is to click right here. It asks you if you're a Mac user. And they've added an exclusive Macintosh emulator section. So you're going to go there. And you're going to see all of the emulators that run on OS X. Every one of them. Every one of them. And then open emus right here. And what do you know? Right there. Right here. And you'll see that it supports multiple systems. So you're going to click on open emu pretty straightforward. You're going to click download. Now I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Why would I do it twice? So you'll notice it has a little pop-up and you're going to watch a little video or wait 15 seconds, some of that bullshit, but then it's going to give you your download. Pretty small price to pay for a kick-ass system on your computer. Anyway, so now that you have that out of the way, you have Open Emu. Now notice I already have four games on here. I'm not going to I mean, you're not going to have these four games because it's you just got it. Unless you've previously downloaded the ROMs and it automatically recognizes them, which it probably won't. Anyway, so to get ROMs, you're going to go back to that website. You go to ROM files. You left the website again. Same process. You're going to click on Super Nintendo. Once you get this shit out of the way. ROM files, Super Nintendo... And you're going to find the game that you want. Now it'll have recommended games, it'll have games that it thinks are fun, it'll have games that other people like, and it'll have games that other people hate. So you'll see the top downloaded one is Super Mario World, which if you've ever had an SNES, I'm sure that you are familiar with this game. So you're going to click on, I'm going to click on this one because I don't have it yet. And this was one of my favorite games, I'm no different. And to show you what you're going to be experiencing when downloading anything from Cool ROMs, I'll go ahead and download this. So you're going to get this pop-up, which I didn't actually have to go through a video, which is crazy. Anyway, download your file. And there it is. It's going to be right here. Automatic. You know, I'm not going to click on that. I like to do it my way, but you can click on that. It'll essentially do the same thing. Um, exit that, exit that. Actually, let me get this out of the way. There we go. So if you're using Mac, you're going to go to your Finder. And then Downloads. And it should show up right here. Super Mario.zip. I'm going to go ahead and organize it. You go to ROMs. And then you go, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder for this. Super... Mario World. And then we organize it. I'm just going to click it right there. I'm going to open it up. Open just double it up. click it and it'll do it for you. There's the original. And it'll give you a folder. This right here, this is what you're looking for. 
this .smc file. You so set that every end. Yeah. So the next thing to do is go out of your finder and go to Open Emu, and you'll see this little bar up here. Click File and Add to Library. And you're going to go to wherever you organized it or just wherever you downloaded it, whatever. Let's see, Super Mario World. It'll collapse that file. And really, you didn't honestly have to zip it. You could click that and open, or you could just click that, open. And it's going to add it to Open Emu. Now, the last thing to do double click. And here it is. The good thing about emulators, there's no massive chips to break out and blow in just to hope that it'll work. I don't think anyone's ever figured out how that fixes anything. But now you have a ROM that you can use. And uh, now, if you have some third party controller you want to use, you're going to go settings right here and edit game controls, which I don't, I did use a 360 controller, but, and that is possible, you just go to edit game controls, and this will pop up, let's see, input right here, the, when I was using the 360 controller, it would show up as Xbox 360 controller, but I'm not right now. So, you have your list of commands, you've got you know, for whatever console you're using, say if this were a game on Nintendo DS, there you go, you have that. And you can you can bond whatever keys you want to each individual button. You can click on the button, it'll highlight it over here. But we're not playing on DS, we're playing on Super Nintendo. And you'll recognize this controller. So you can click on whatever button you want, you know, and it'll highlight it so you can easily assign. It's easily accessible. But see, everything here is already done. So, I'm just going to exit out of that, and this is going to resume. And I'm just going to go through the motions here, pick whatever game you want. And that's how you use Open Emu. I'm not going to sit here and play Mario for you, but pretty straightforward stuff. So, hopefully, now you can relive your oh so sweet childhood with an SNES and maybe a ring pop where the fuck did those go anyway hope this has been helpful thanks for watching